death and end of life care is inevitable, but who really feels like talking about it? Yeah, that's a tough one. A new survey conducted by the Conversation Project suggests that 90% of people know they should speak up, yet only 30% have actually done it. And now they're hoping to change things. When he was 17, he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. My father had stomach cancer. She died, her heart finally gave out. It's he the conversation the many of us avoid, dying and end of life wishes. But after dealing with her mother's death, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Ellen Goodman founded The Conversation Project. We need to have these conversations early and at the kitchen table and not in the ICU. Martha Hayward and her family grappled with their mom's care, and after several years of being in and out of hospitals, they finally had the conversation. When my mother died, I think we were all given, the word I can use is peace. As a single woman, Patricia Knight worried that no one in her family would know her true wishes, so she called a family meeting. Once I got going, it was actually relaxing and it was a little bit cathartic. The Conversation Project created a starter kit that allows people to fill out very specific wishes so and give it to loved ones. Some of the questions you're asked to think about. What is most important to you in your last phase of life? Who do you want to be involved in your care? Who do you want making decisions for you? You can reduce that unease and uncertainty Maureen Bisignano says that's what happened when her family fulfilled her 17-year-old brother's wishes to die at home. There was a tremendous sense of relief that, that he had expressed his wishes. Proving a good conversation can bring peace to everyone involved. And Ellen Goodman says you're never too young to have the conversation. If a child is facing a serious illness, parents should talk to their children about wishes as well. Well, there's a saying, talking about death won't kill you, but then why does the topic make so many people feel uncomfortable? Is it because of the inevitability of it? It's certainly something none of us can escape and something that most of us cannot predict. The Conversation Project aims to get people talking openly and comfortably with their loved ones before they reach the end of their life. According to conversationproject.org, 60% of people said it's extremely important. They do not burden their family with tough decisions when it comes to their end of life care. But on that same note, only 56% said they have yet to communicate their end of life wishes. And although it may be uncomfortable at first, having a plan of action regarding death and dying may make you feel more at ease with the subject, and certainly it'll take a lot of pressure off your loved ones when the time does come. If you'd like more information on how you can get your starter kit, go to delmarvalife.com. Well, talking with your doctor about any medical issues you have is always recommended, but have you ever considered talking to him or her about what they wear? Still ahead on Delmarva Live, why it could have a profound effect on your health. And later, former Pittsburgh Steeler receiver Heinz Ward has a lot to talk about today. From how he's staying in shape after retiring to his take on the 2013 season, we get the scoop. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back.